Cryptocurrency is a wild and wacky world, full of surprises and innovations around every corner. And when it comes to the latest trend in crypto, NFTs are definitely causing a stir. These non-fungible tokens are taking the world by storm, with people shelling out big bucks for digital art and collectibles. But are NFTs worth all the hype? Only time will tell. But one thing is for sure, if you're looking for excitement and endless possibilities, the world of NFTs is definitely the place to be. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by and seeing us here at Crypto Bookworm. If you're into all things cryptocurrency and NFTs, you've come to the right place. Our goal is to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest in the world of digital currency and assets. Take it from us, it is a wild ride. So buckle up and join us as we dive into the exciting world of crypto and NFTs. We're going to have some fun and learn how to stay ahead of the game together. In this video, we will be telling you all you need to know about NFTs, what makes them different from the other cryptocurrencies you've always heard about, and of course, where you can buy and sell them. So, first off, what are NFTs? Although NFTs were released in the early 2010s, you're not alone if you still use the terms NFT or non-fungible token without understanding what they mean, because they were actually a rather uncommon idea until around 2021. But in recent months, it has started to crop up more frequently when discussing digital artwork that has sold for millions of dollars. Non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, are cryptographic items on the blockchain that can be distinguished from one another by unique identifying codes and metadata. Each NFT is distinct due to this information, and as a result, they cannot be directly substituted by another token. Now that we have a solid understanding of what NFTs are, Let's dive deeper and explore the fundamental differences between NFTs and other types of cryptocurrencies. The first difference you will find between NFTs and other crypto types is that they cannot be swapped for each other. Fungible currencies, like Bitcoin on the other hand, can be used as a medium of exchange because they can be exchanged for one another. This is mostly because they have the same value everywhere. Take, for instance, Mr. A is buying BTC from Mr. B. It is based on the same value, say $17,000, that both Mr. A and B will execute their transaction. But when it comes to NFTs, this logic doesn't apply, as tokens or the digital arts are not priced equally. Additionally, the crypto model is altered by non-fungible tokens, which makes it impossible to compare non-fungible tokens because each token is unique and irreplaceable. And similarly to digital passports, each token has a unique identity that distinguishes it from the others, while still being a virtual representation of money. They can also be extended, which allows you to combine two NFTs to create a third, unique NFT. A non-fungible token's unique information, such as that of a crypto kitty, is kept in its smart contract and immutably recorded on the blockchain of that token. And to make it simpler for beginners to access, CryptoKitties have moved from their original home on the Ethereum blockchain, where they were introduced as ERC721 tokens, to their own blockchain, known as Flow. Having established the distinct characteristics of NFTs in comparison to other cryptocurrencies, let's now shift our focus to understanding the reasons behind their increasing popularity and why they matter. Each NFT's unique design enables a diverse variety of applications. They're a great method to digitally depict objects from the real world, like artwork and real estate, for instance. NFTs, which are based on blockchains, can also be used for identity management, as well as to replace middlemen and connect artists and fans, and therefore open up new markets. Non-fungible tokens also have distinctive qualities, which means they are typically connected to a particular item. They can therefore be used to demonstrate ownership of actual goods as well as digital items like gaming skins. This is why artists now have an easy way to monetize their work through tokenization, which has potentially opened up new revenue streams from the metaverse and the digital world. Additionally, NFTs are presently employed for a variety of peculiar yet fascinating uses. For instance, some businesses use them to make personalized emblems or certificates of originality for customers purchasing artwork. With a clear understanding of why NFTs are gaining prominence, it's time to talk about the nuts and bolts of how these unique tokens function in the world of digital assets. While tokens such as Bitcoin and ERC20 tokens built on Ethereum are fungible, platforms like CryptoKitties and Decentraland use the ERC721 non-fungible token standard for Ethereum. And with the right tools and assistance, non-fungible tokens can likewise be generated on other blockchains that support smart contracts. Despite the fact that Ethereum was the first to become extensively used, the ecosystem is growing and now supports NFTs on blockchains like NEO, Solana, EOS, Tezos, Flow, Tron, and more. 
Wow, look how far we've come. So hey, if you've enjoyed learning about this topic and would like to support our work, please consider subscribing to our channel. Your support helps us continue creating engaging and informative content, and we appreciate every subscriber who helps promote our hard work. Having comprehended the intricacies of how NFTs operate, we can now proceed to explore the various platforms where you can buy and sell these unique digital assets. NFT platforms and markets have multiplied along with the growth and popularity of NFTs. Many marketplaces, from the most well-known OpenSea to the independent and community-based like Hick at Nuke, are available for you to sell or acquire NFT art. With that said, let's now look at some of the top markets that you should consider when purchasing or selling NFTs. First up, we have OpenSea, which is the most trusted NFT marketplace. It is also the world's largest and first peer-to-peer -peer NFT marketplace. NFT games, music, and other works of art are accessible on this platform. There is also the advantage that comes with the inclusion of ERC-1155 and ERC-721 tokens on the OpenSea platform. From beginners starting their first collections to the most seasoned collectors, OpenSea has something for everyone, with more than 2 million items. Also, the cheap fees and broad selection of auction types offered on this platform further provide sellers with several opportunities for making money. OpenSea is more or less the ideal development platform where artists can create custom smart contracts for games or digital collections. Next up is Rarible. Rarible is also one of the largest NFT markets that run on Ethereum. It is a platform that is community owned and features a variety of digital artworks and collectibles. Similar to OpenSea, the marketplace allows you to buy and sell any type of art. Sellers also have the flexibility to create multiple NFTs for artwork and sell it multiple times. Any mobile wallet that makes use of Wallet Connect, including MetaMask, Coinbase Wallet, MyEtherWallet, and others, can be used for buying and selling NFTs using Rarible. Last but not least is Magic Eden. Magic Eden is a decentralized application platform for digital collectibles, game assets, and many more features. It is regarded as one of the top Solana NFT marketplaces. The platform has also added Ethereum to its list of supported digital currencies, making it even more straightforward for buyers and sellers to benefit from minimal transaction fees and reach a wider community of collectors. However, don't be surprised to find duplicated and plagiarized content on Magic Eden since it is an open platform. All in all, NFTs will play a big part in online communities, events, creating digital identities, investments, and even when buying video game assets. NFTs are the ideal tool because they can build communities and give people access to benefits both online and offline. What's more, they are also certifiably secure since the blockchain around which they are built is made to keep out hackers. Now that we have gone over this beginner's guide on NFTs, hopefully you understand what non-fungible tokens are all about. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of our other content on our website, CryptoBookworm.com. We have a wealth of information on cryptocurrency and NFTs to help you stay up to date and informed. Thank you for watching, we hope you learned something new, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until next time!